Hello and welcome to today's vlog. Day number 86 of 365 days of running, 2017 miles in this year. So, um, interesting morning, we'll get onto that in a sec. But, um, managed to get out, did a bit of a recovery run, just with um, Belinda, Claire and Saskia and Laura. It was quite good to get out and just do a couple of miles, just at recovery pace following yesterday's long run. Um, but it's been, a, it's been an interesting morning and my morning has been taken up with my headspace of constantly thinking about how lucky I am to have certain people in my life um, and how those people in and around my life motivate me and drive me um, to be better and to do better and to keep inspiring and keep trying to help people and pay forward what I learned. So rather than a topic today, I'm just gonna um, transition in to my radio interview from this morning. Managed to, um, or was lucky enough to be invited on to BBC Radio Cambridgeshire through someone who was sitting at a Big Girls Journey to Lean seminar um, who, who works at the radio station and presents and she listened to my story there and I was lucky enough to be invited on to the show today to talk and tell my story and have a little chat about what I was doing this year. So it was an absolute privilege to be on there. Just head over to that interview now. I hope you enjoy. Now, Dotty, London Marathon is fast approaching. Of course, Sam is going to be running it. He is. I think he'll have done another long run yesterday. That's probably yes. why he's not here today. In he fact. talks of little else these yeah, days. Anyone approaching a long run like this, I think it does just take over your life. Well, it certainly does. But that is actually just a small part of what our next guest, Neil Marsh, is trying to do this year. He's a fitness instructor from Willingham and he's attempting to run, get this, 2017 miles this year, which is a, a huge amount. And that includes taking part in a gruelling 650 mile challenge that starts in a few days time 2017 miles what on earth did you try and take that on Neil um I was sitting with a client one day and she just said to me if I could run in this year I'd run 2017 miles this year unfortunately she's got um a little bit of hip dysplasia so she can't run too far so as a responsible fitness instructor, I thought I would say, don't do that, I'll do it for you. Um, so thanks to Becky for the inspiration for that, really. And you've been regretting it ever since. Yeah. It's been brilliant. So we're at the end it. of March, where are you now? Um, so last check, I was on 454 miles for the year so far, which was about 19 above where I should be. However, um, that was middle of last week, so um, with a 15-mile long run yesterday, and a few other runs towards the end of the week last week. It's it's definitely gone up. So You look so sprightly if I'd run 15 miles <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> now that total is going to be up quite a lot though because you're, you're taking part in this big challenge that's starting at the end of the week. It's called the Hope Alive Tour. Now it's 650 miles. Now you're not running all of it. It's part of a relay, but tell us about it. So it's part of a relay. There's 12 runners. Um, we're going through six cities um, in total, five in the UK, and we're, we're starting up in Hull. Um, which is the birthplace of William Wilberforce, who was the anti-slave campaigner. Um, and he studied here in Cambridge. So um, a local guy, Michael Scott, decided to set up a, a long run as, as such. And through um, the college where Wilberforce studied and then back up to Nottingham, up to Liverpool, and then going back down to London to eventually end up in London next Tuesday um, evening having started on Saturday morning and then we're going to get on the plane and fly over to Freetown and then run a marathon which we will all run um, from Freetown in Sierra Leone um, to a place called Heaven Homes which is orphanages that were set up just after the Ebola breakout um, for the kids that unfortunately lost their their parents. That's an incredible thing to be part of. Are you excited or worried or nervous? How are you feeling? Um, I have this sort of saying, boom, 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 which is a, a kind of tagline for me. And I've definitely got a lot of boom, boom, boom about it. I'm buzzing, ready to go. Now, Dottie, you come back from that. What do you think you're going to want to do? 
Or have a little nap, a little sleepy. Do you, you think? Know? Well, that that's for for at least a week. But but what are you doing when you get home from that? So thirteen days after landing, <laughs> it works out that it's the London Marathon, and, and you're running that as well. <laughs> of I'll course. be taking part. Of course, in that. you are. So um, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, so it should be should be a nice um, nice comfortable race this year. <laughs> And compared to other years, I appreciate that people that haven't run before would find that really hard. But perhaps after this tour, um, it will be slightly easier than it has been in previous years. Wow. And in terms of running the marathon in Sierra Leone, what kind of conditions are you looking at for running there? So they think it'll be about 30 degrees, but they also think there'll be a nice um, light wind. So that should help us out. Yeah, you've got to be grateful for small mercies. <laughs> light wind. Haven't you, Neil? Like a nice light wind at times like this, I guess. Gosh, gosh. This is... And then you've got some more killer races later on in the year, haven't you? So after London, it just caught, sort of intensifies again. Um, last year, I took part in a race called the Grim Reaper, which is um, at Grimsfort Castle. Who marketed that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's an ultra marathon of 40, 70 or 100 miles. And last year I opted for 100 miles, uh, sorry, 70 miles. Um, unfortunately, only making it to 56 miles before getting picked up in a medical van and taken back to the medical What tent. happened? Um, I just ended up with a little bit of hypothermia. Just a bit of hypothermia. Um, wow. So I was sitting there and thought I've got to come back next year I've got to put this to bed I've got to make sure I finish the race and so that's you can learn your lessons can you? <laughs> why running Neil what is it about running that appeals to you I started kind of seven years ago when I was four and a half stone heavier than I am now and it was just a kind of way to release myself and have a bit of headspace to start with never thought I would take part in a marathon in fact it was the worst idea <laughs> in the world at the time but Actually, over the years, it's just become a way of releasing my kind of thoughts and feelings throughout the day. And actually, it's led to a lot of friends being made. And I started a running club in Histon and just made loads of friends and had a great community. So I don't see why I would stop, stop wow. doing it now. And has it led you into a new career? Because you are a fitness instructor now. I am, yeah. So I, I was previously qualified um, before I had to lose the weight. But um, yeah, it kind of took me into a new way of coaching um, a new kind of approach, new ethos, sort of to use new real food nutrition and exercise to transform people's lifestyles. And um, running certainly been a big part of that and something that I do with a lot of my clients and I've got loads of success stories from it. So it's really good to see. Wow. So if people want to support the Hope Life Tour, is there, is there a website for that or is it best to look up on your website? Um, you can, there'll be a link on my website, which yeah. is Neil Marsh Health and Fitness. Brilliant. And there's also the Hope Alive Facebook page, and there's also the um, Virgin Money page as well, which we can... Yeah, great. Well, I hope we'll, we'll be, perhaps we'll be able to catch up with you when you um, pass through Cambridge. But good luck with it. Thank you. Amazing stuff. Thank you. Thanks so much for coming in this morning, Neil. Thank you. And Hannah Olsen there, who's on the news and the sport this morning. She...